Welcome back to Let's Play Control. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're here in the Ritual Division, looking for that last zombie. And I'm going to go looking... up, I think. It's actually quite nice up here. I wonder why they would put it way up here where no offices can see it. Oh, neat. I guess I just assumed the oldest house would keep that under control. You know, because it's fucking plants. It's not the mold or anything. It's not... It's not intentionally trying to carpet everything. Which I suppose means these, uh, light banks are actually emitting, you know, UV light. So that they can absorb that and turn it into food. Uh, the plants, I mean, not the lights. That would be weird. Well, what have we up here? All right, buddy. Rest in peace. Okay. Yes, now that we've killed Mold 1, the, uh, the mold itself has seemed to have stopped all volition to continue spreading, but it uh, does continue spreading automatically as it sloughs off of the, uh, the mold hosts, the zombies. So we get this wrapped up, and we will finally have the mold contained once and for all. What do we have here? Vacuum chamber, contamination system, uh, orb cloud, high AL something, objective, I can't read this, not great handwriting for this, diamond mirror, dimetic mirror, hmm. What world are they talking about? I do love the detail, by the way, that you can hear wind coming from these machines sometimes. Ow. Just jammed my hand into that wall. Interesting, it had no effect through here. I don't actually know where I'm going. It'd probably be f easier just to, uh... Oh, I see. That's how I was supposed to find that. I'd also explain why there was no lore up way up there. Oh, all right. to me to wonder for the first time. Okay, that felt badass. It occurred to me to wonder for the first time if the explosion they set off manually is bigger than the explosion they don't. convinced that all of Dylan's mental problems are not the result of growing up on, you know, the diet of Threshold Kids. things. I have to admit that. That's really neat. I don't even think I noticed that until I got one on my side the first time. Of 
Wrong button. I knew that. Only made that mistake 45 million times. Which one is this? Ammo cost or levitating. Right, 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 right. Uh, not as good. Oh, I see. Yes, yes. Good. Hmm. Ammo efficiency, you say. Not as good as that one. Maybe I should put an ammo efficiency on this one. I don't know. Same. I find a lot of these for some reason, the dodge efficiency ones. Oh shit, that was two different ones. My mistake, but whatever. Honestly, I mostly just run. Oh, those are two different things again. Fine, fine. the last one. Central research! I knew that, yes. I was very... very... So you couldn't tell, but I was staring at my health bar as I said that, because I knew I knew that, and I was stubbornly insisting on uh, not looking up in the corner and reminding myself. Oh, it's right there. Hmm. Well, I guess there is a waypoint in central research. It just doesn't go... Uh, nice big open area. I didn't think so. I don't know. I forgot. It is a bit weird that it's way up here, I will admit that. Oh, man, there could be... Anywhere in here. Huh. Let's see. Big patches of ugly mold. What about in here? I feel like I'd see that, but whatever. No. I would, but I don't actually know where it goes, and I've got faster methods of getting around. Oh yeah, that's another problem. There's a huge patch of mold off to the side. Hey, that looks important. Hidden location discovered. Hmm, but there's no lore or anything in here, just that box. Oh well. Oh, neat. Hey, I wonder. I should look about trying to find my way to the nostalgia department now that I've, uh, you know, beaten the game and taken down that giant shield. I don't actually remember where the nostalgia department was. I am mostly wandering around at random, I'll admit it. Ooh, this looks like it would be a good place. Do I have this one? Uh, okay. Choice, no choice. It's there now. Protecting the 
most important thing. I was coming. I'll be there inside. Well, I didn't unlock that one, so I must have had it already, but I have zero memory of that. It does sort of, uh... I do see that, yes. Yeah, it does fill a few blanks in. So I guess the answer to where is Dr. Darling all that time was that he locked himself in the Hedron Chamber. Possibly inside the physical form of the uh, Hedron Polyhedron. Oh, hey, it's one of these rooms. Perfect. Kids, don't breathe this. Director Faden is uh, properly vaccinated against the mold. Hammer procedures. The time of the hammer is upon us! Game Hammer. AI 5-BE. Acquisition date November 2nd, 1959. Containment location, Panopticon, Floor 1, Unit 16. Game Hammer. Note, per archival mandates 8.A, this document has been edited to meet current administrative standards. Cur certain terminology may be out of date. No method for, suppro for suppressing the item's taumaturgical effect is yet known. To prevent infection, wear proper safety gloves when handling. The item is a wooden mallet from a High Striker Carnival game. A long wooden handle extends from the head. Wooden mallet? Yes. Uh, the item infects any organic material with an unknown disease upon making physical contact. The effects of this disease are similar to leprosy, but develop at a much faster rate. Within a matter of days, tissue loss develops in the, matter in the limbs closest to the point of infection. While the disease itself has not claimed any lives, secondary infection has resulted in numerous deaths. Hey, that item sucks! Oh no, it, it was new. That was new. Cool. It does make me feel kind of bad for pulling the large-scale HRA out of the wall in order to get to Hedron. It's funny, at the time it seemed like such a sinister thing to do that I was certain it was going to turn out Hedron was evil. But no, it turned out Jesse was just doing something dumb and playing right into his hands. Another hidden location. Oh! Oh god, I am really glad they are so fucking dumb. Well, there you go, kids. The nail that sticks out gets hammered down. I would absolutely all on board with it if you guys wanted to come up here one by one. Okay, where did you even come from? Wrong button again. Okay. Fire in the hole. Oh fuck, there's- ah! Okay, shape of the ceiling kind of didn't work with me there. Oh damn, I got all of them. 
And that didn't even fucking count! Wow. Blue! Hey, yeah, this room sucks. <clears throat> Just wanted to uh, adjust my headset there, sorry. So that was actually unrelated. That's funny. Yeah, that did not increase my uh, completion of the quest. Aha! Oh look, I made a control point. Go do me a favor and make yourself useful. Or not. No, no, not this one. Why did I know that one was going to be the ladies' room? Oh, yes, and uh, even though the body is gone by now. Ahem. Wow, the toilet door fixed itself already. Yes, but, uh, rest in peace. Whoever you used to be. I should look over here. Oh, hey, and if I'm right here, I can just drop down the hole and go say hi. Is that mold? No. It's just more plants. This is mold? <gasps> Not the acoustics lab! No. I won't let you kill the music! Okay, you have no taste in music. Fine, I get it. Wrong one. I think that's the last one. I should let Underhill know. Let's just walk away from that, though. I mean, technically, I could do the thing, you know, go into the multimedia menu so it's all full screen and everything. Except, A, that song is five minutes long, and, uh, B, you really could get that just from looking at a, uh... You know, there are YouTube postings that are just the song, if that's what you're looking for, I'm just saying. I did want to include it when I found it, sure, certainly, but, uh... You know, I recognize that it's a bit, uh, more... Uh, time investment than, say, you know, uh, the one minute thirty of uh, Dr. Darling's um, mud cover. <laughs> Although I'll say this, uh, between the two songs, the one that won't stop playing in my head this week is Dynamite. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I would want to work in a place called the Pit. Be careful down there. We don't want to have to come save you. Fair. Seriously. Oh, I get it, because it sounded like it was being, you know, playful and joking there. Ahem. I found the hosts. They won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the locations. Good, good. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. 
I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. This woman has some incredible tunnel vision. Yeah, maybe it's for the best that, uh, Emily's I'll in charge of research now. Dr. Underhill, if you please. While I am standing here, I did want to take a peek in here because, uh, it was suggested to me that there's all kinds of goods and secrets hidden in the, uh, the pit area. Holes in the wall and such. Like, I know that's where the, the control point is. That's not a secret, per se. Can I get up there? No! I missed. That's embarrassing. Gnarly. Ah, uh, well. Whoa, what is th Oh. Oh, that's the threshold! That's the universe! Those are just pillars of mold! Okay, fuck that. That computer didn't care about me levitating near it. I don't know. That was a radio, I remember that. Aha! Here's something. For starters. Balloon procedures. This is a balloon that kills dogs. Get well, balloon. Acquisition date, March 22nd, 2004. Floor 5, Unit 9 of the Panopticon. Item must be kept away from animals. The cell must be regularly cleaned to the black substance the item produces. All cleaning tools must be redacted along with the as black substance itself. Item is a novelty balloon made of silver mylar. On its face is a colorful message to get well, surrounded by cartoon hearts. A, fl a ribbon is attached to the balloon. Item has not stopped floating after a considerable amount of time in the Bureau, which suggests it does not hover through the use of helium. The item produces a dark-colored, sticky substance which drips down its ribbon. Oh, I guess that'll be at the bottom, huh? Mold removal. Yes, good. She eradicates the hosts throughout the research sector and stops them from spreading the mold. I mean, I didn't think so, I just thought I'd check. I am bad. glad I took a second look in here. Oh, this is that arty thing I was standing on. Oh, that's a lot of bombs! That's a... That's a control point, but it's not functional. That's weird. I've never actually seen that. Pretty. All oh, right, that'll about do it. There could be more in here. Sorry, before I actually did the outro, I just wanted to look up that comment I was referencing. Shout it to Nintendo Fan Link. Yes, you finally did it. You went into the mold threshold and did the quest. Now that you've defeated another boss and gained the ability to breathe in mold-infested places, you can finally check out some of the otherwise poisonous mold rooms and locations to look for secrets and other goodies. Also, it seemed that there were some secret places and holes in the walls near the active threshold control room, uh, control point, rather, in the big pit room. So, yes, it's all good. But, uh, until next time, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you when we return to Let's Play Control. Later!